Welcome to the stream, viewers. Hope your Friday's going well. It's a good day, and it's nice and warm for spring. It's beautiful. But, uh, can't say everything's beautiful in this world, because there's a lot of shit. Um, what am I doing here? You know what? I'm going to take the beaver for a ride, get some damn trees. Okay, they're both right here. Never mind. I'm gonna get the 241 to follow me. Let's see what's up its ass. Hey, viewers. Good day. Good day, good day, good day. We can't fetch much for inventory space on this Rex. I don't understand why. Yo, Kezzy, how you doing there? I know it's been a while, man. Fuck, probably been a couple of months or so, huh? Shit. Um, prime meat, fuck it. I don't know. Shit goes bad too fast in this game. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. That's good to be good. I've been playing Ark a bit here. As you can see. I've just been grinding out the go. Damn. Getting used to shit here. I need this guy to follow me. Um, actually, you know what? I don't know if I can use the Argy to use the beaver to, like, harvest with. <clears throat> Shit. What the fuck just happened? Goddamn Rex. No, they're all fucking shit. I hate this shit. I don't fucking know. I don't use email for anything. I don't care about email. Email is garbage. Fucking know anything about any of that stuff. Ah uh, man, she's she says she's got a server. Uh, yeah, that's cool. I don't know anything. I know the admin on this server here, the server owner. I know you have to pay money for the fucking servers and shit, I think. They're not, uh... They're not free. Come on, Rex. Just walk out this fucking door over here. Thank you. Over here. Over here. No broadband, damn. Ronan, oh man, a friend is inviting me to a group there. He probably won't, he probably won't join, I don't know, he sent me an invite to his. I could try to invite you to theirs. Welcome to the stream, viewers.
message to see if you'll join ours. I'm gonna fucking fuck in your ass, Pizzle, mate. Fuck. This shit again? <laughs> Didn't I get that yesterday? It's gonna be a shitty situation. Yeah, that's, uh, that's what I've been told. Yeah, what's up, man? But, anyway. What's you're up? You're an ignorant fuck, man. You don't answer on Facebook at all. You ignorant fuck. I don't use that shit for much of anything, man. I'm sorry, but I'm not connected well, with Facebook too well. What if I was to tell well. you I was gonna die tomorrow, man? How would I get a hold of you? Yeah, fuck, what, man. What if I physically lost the ability to tell you that I you, turn on the PS4 and I was fucking dying? Uh, do I don't know. I got a problem with fucking Facebook and bullshit, but I'll try to get on there more often, I guess. Fuck. I don't know. Yeah, man, you should. Be sociable. Be be positive with other people, man. Yeah, well, that's been a long process. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be a long process tonight if you don't fucking get your ass on Facebook. Facebook. Fuck come out there. Fuck Beat you across the head with a fucking big bowl full of bread dough and fucking just fuck your shit up, man. Mark Zuckerberg's coming to get us. Damn. Yeah, that's the you the don't... creator, right? Dude, he comes he comes into your house, right? And you know what I'll fucking do to him? I'll throw that fucker in the fridge like a cold corona and beat the shit out of him when he comes out black and blue. Fucking yeah, bitch ass. Yeah, yeah, shit. Well, it's good that you got a PS4 and you're still on here because we can chat it up or shoot the shit or throw fucking obscenities around, you know? Yeah, literally. All I just did for the last <laughs> fucking half an hour, right? It is, I'm tired of shit doing it. My hands are that aching. You're incubating that egg just... or whatever, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm doing that at the same time. But I was doing something in the meantime to like, burn some time and I just fucking got one of my old fishing rot reels, right? Literally took, I don't know, it was like three pound line off of it and replaced it with 20 pound line. Damn. And this reel, I have never used it. Never even, I've used it but I've never took the line off of it. And obviously when they're brand new they come with a fuck ton of line. I must have been sat there for like, I don't even know, 20 minutes and I must have pulled off like, I'd say 150 meters of fishing line. Don't forget to sub before he takes my brain down. Yeah, and no, that's good man, that's good. Forever. So, do you want to know a little tip for uh, when you do a fishing line on a fishing rod? Don't wrap it around your neck and cast off with the hook in your ass. <laughs> so what about when you're replacing it? I don't know. Fuck man, I don't know anything about fishing lines and right. shit really. So what you want to do right is you get the reel and the fishing line that you're replacing. So if it comes on a spool, you can get the end of the fishing line on that spool and wrap it around the reel and tie a knot. And then you attach that reel to a rod and sit there and reel in, mate. <laughs> Yeah, no. Sorry, Dirty there, I know. Dirty's saying all kinds of shit here. He's fucking Mark Zuckerberg implanted a like button in his head. In his brain. That's not our griffin trap, no. That's... Pow built that shit. That's some... I don't know what the fuck kind of trap that is. What a fucking plant eggs inside your head. Yeah. Skull fuck you to death. Nah, man. So you're, you're getting ready for that fishing trip that going the expedition thing you're going on there, yeah. Yeah, I've been sorting out some reels. I don't know what reels to take yet. I got three reels. I got fucking I got a what's it? A, I don't know, I've got a reel the name by fucking Fladen, whatever the fuck they're called. Fladen? Part rod. Never heard of that. Man. I got, so got that. Can't hit these trees. I'm trying. Yeah. I gotta get out more, and also I got like two other little rods. But this, this rod, this reel that I have, right? Like the weight of it is literally heavier, heavier than both of the two other reels that I've got put together. It's heavier than them. I don't know Lucky if the beaver is auto harvesting man. either. Do you know how many times? Do you, know, do you know how many times I beat around the bush with that fucking reel, mate? I don't know. Not once has it ever fucking destroyed its bearings. It's fucking brand banking perfect new. Works it... brilliant. Like a charm. 
I think I'm hitting the trees with the bird too, not the beaver. Yeah, fuck. I don't know. That's fucked up, man. Right. Yeah. Let's take him and back and you see. You dip your you dip your finger in butter, right? And then you spread butter around um around a uh, a pan, right? To cook. That's how it feels when these bearings are going, man. It's so fucking smooth. It's also the same reel that I reeled a fucking eight pound ghost carp in with and it fucking worked massively, yeah. perfectly. What the fuck is going on here? Does this beaver have a workbench in the back of it? No, the the griffin, Yagi, and something else does. I'm seeing stuff no, in the back the of the beaver. I don't know what the fuck all this shit is. It's like a compass. Is it in its head? They're engrams. Oh. I don't know what the fuck why even they're oh, in there. Oh, someone might have put it on there. They, someone might have put it on him. See if you can take him out. The Argy and Beaver doubles as Smithy is what a guy's saying in the stream here. Dirty dish. I don't know, man. I, I'm still fucking trying to hold this shit together. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing on here. That's weird. Yeah, I... I don't know. Fuck, man. Oh, shit. Okay, Rex is out there going crazy. I need to harvest some fucking wood. Bad. I'll get you some wood. I got a lot of wood. Thanks, there. Thanks, man. Yeah, just chuck some over here. I need some. How many stacks do you oh, I'm have? Not about that wood. Just drop off a truckload, right? I want truckload more of wood. Oh fuck! Where's my Rex that I had following me around here? Where the fuck did he go? Yeah, I'm gonna. I think I might have to bring a wheelbarrow to stuck sink it in for a second and just push it over there, but good. Come on, Rex. Like, I remember watching South Park and a dude, a dude on there had blue balls and he was carrying his balls in a wheelbarrow. <laughs> I can't function on here too well. I don't know what we can use this trap over here for exactly. It's it's a trap. It's a taming pen, I guess, is what he called this one. Taming pen, but I don't know for what. It's very small. It's a tiny little fucking thing. And then, then we've got this other one over here. I don't know. I tried to get a stegosaurus in there, the thing pissed me off for a while, I just ended up chopping it to fucking pieces and killing the bastard. Yeah, fuck that dude. Cause I couldn't get the fucker in the pen. If it takes more than an hour to knock it out right, because, like if it takes more than an hour right, it's not worth it, shoot it in the face. Fuck that, that's what I think. If it takes me more than an hour to knock something out, then I'll shoot it in its face and give up, fuck that shit. Same thing, yes. Drop small dinos and shoot them and... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, I... I've been kind of getting annoyed with some of them taking too fucking long. It's like, okay. I got patience, but I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, man. You think you can... Are you busy at your base over there? You, I guess you guys are. You got those eggs you're fucking dealing with and shit, yeah. I want to go get another griffin and try not to fucking lose it this time. Yeah, I picked up a griffin yesterday for Crip and managed to get it back. I know you did. You got the one yeah. that uh, that Pow was talking about getting and then he saw a tech rex and said, Oh fuck, we're getting this rex. And... I don't know. Whatever, right? There'll be another one. It may not be oh, as yeah, good, but... Good. there's They're always over there in that area, I guess. It wouldn't surprise me if there's a fucking level 150 there already. You might have to go check. If there is, man. 
I don't know. I I don't know about the mutton stuff. I'm just gonna feed it whatever meat I get. I'm I can't find mutton for fuck's sakes. I haven't found it anywhere yet. Top right hand corner. It looks like a sheep. Yeah, I've been looking for sheep, and literally, we were looking around yesterday for mutton and found one sheep. It won't work for Griffin though. Thanks for dropping by there. I know Dirty Dish has been helping me out with all kinds of fucking stuff in this damn game. All kinds. Yeah, well, it already takes me three hours or two hours, it seems like, to fucking tame a goddamn dinosaur. So I'm not too worried about that. Sheep is in Highland. That's long and dangerous journey. Yeah, no shit. Every time I go through that winter shit, I start freezing and losing half my health. Yeah, well, I don't know if the otter will save me or not, because it did make a big difference, but I killed the last otter. It's warm in the snow. I killed the last otter that I was trying to kill fish in the pond at the top of the fall here, and... I saw an otter, but... Uh, yeah, admin settings. I know another friend here. I haven't talked to her for a while, but uh, she's got she's an admin on an ARC server, too. So, I don't know if I'll... Oh, shit, there's a fucking bee fucking chasing me around or some shit. Come on, Rex, kill that thing. Fuck off. I'm gonna fucking stab you in the ass, Fizzle. What do them bees do to you? Oh, it depends how many there is. If there's like, Just if, one. Does it look like an ant? I've been poisoned. Yeah, it's a flying ant or something. Yeah, that's an ant. Yeah, they don't God do much. They just poison bastards. Wow. They're fucking pussies. Fuck them dudes. Titan. I shoot them fucking. Oh, mer I eat them fuckers for breakfast. Merma. I don't know. They kinda had me worried, I'm wondering what the fuck is gonna happen with this bullshit. Let's see, oh wait, I have to check the beavers. There's an inventory here, see what it's got. How much weight? Oh, he's still got a long way to go. I need thatch. I need to get the ankylosaurus back out here and chop down some trees with that. Tree chopping. All right, man. Yeah, I'll be getting out of here in about an hour. Yeah. Right. All right. Bye bye now. Take a shower and dry your hair. It takes an hour? Holy fuck. <laughs> Good Man. shit. Women be crazy. Yeah. I think we're all crazy sometimes. Life will do that to you. It'll make you kind of crazy. If you don't go crazy, I think there's probably something wrong. Tree chopping. The beaver eats the wood. No puns intended. <laughs> ha ha! Shit. The one. beaver eats the wood. It rubs the lotion on its skin. Right? Fuck. You said right. Did you just say right after I said you eat my wood? I don't know, man. I think you got your shit mixed up. Women aren't crazy, no. <laughs> I know a few that said, fucking rights, I'm crazy. What? <laughs> like, okay, okay, yeah. Uh, just don't call them crazy, right? Because if you call them crazy to their faces and shit, around their backs even, it's just going to cause you a whole world of mess. Even if they are acting kind of crazy. Just don't say it, right? It's better left unsaid. You want good times? Not good to say shit like that. Let the good times roll, man. Yeah. 
people call you crazy and some people get offended by it because I don't know because they think they're not crazy I don't know I don't care if someone calls me crazy I say yeah well you live for a few years and deal with a bunch of bullshit crazy the guys ain't seen nothing yet if you think this is crazy you want to see fucking crazy crazy's just around that corner over there right does the beaver fly off the mountain here if I cruise off the side of the edge here does it kill it or will it survive if, if your mount if you fall off a mountain with a with a tame then jump like dismount before you hit the floor I've been riding them over hills and shit, but dismount, yeah, before I hit the ground. Yeah. Okay, so you got me worried now. I don't want to kill the poor thing. Fucking fish! God damn it! Fucking bastard fucking took my honey. I'm gonna fucking jump in his war and beat the shit out of him if he does <laughs> that again. Took your honey? What, what do you mean your honey? I'm fishing. <laughs> you're fishing where? Oh, you're in the game? Yeah. Yeah, I'm in the base. I'm fishing. Your honey. Some honey on my rod. Damn. So you put honey on the rod? Yeah. I'm fishing with it. I ran out of stamina. Holy shit, the beaver just took a huge turd. I need that. Thank you. Let's check the Rex. He was chewing some stuff up there, I think. Dude, you built a grand bird cage. The griffin trap will be a breeze in Kaboom. <laughs> <laughs> really? You think so? A breeze? I haven't built a trap yet. I've seen people's traps being built and stuff, but I haven't done any trap building because I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Like, I gotta get the layout for the bottom. It's like eight squares for a griffin. You could do six for a bunch of smaller things, I guess. And, uh, I don't know. I don't like going on YouTube and watching a million videos just to figure out how to fucking do this, do that. Like, once I get it done, the arc will fall in no time. <laughs> That's crazy. The arc. Alright, let's... Pergy's fine. Pet the Listro. That thing's a happy little fucker, ain't it? Yeah. The Listro. It's a good thing they don't get stuck in the doors. You, have you seen my base since the last time you were over here? Our base, I should say. Pals and... It's pretty much Pals. Nah, I haven't been over there yet. I haven't even touched going into the waterfall base thing. That idea is still in my head. I want to get it, but I want to finish these walls around here. I have to, because it's not big enough as it is. The wall, the inner wall around our base needs to drop, which is what I'm working on. Here, Rex, you just stay right there. Yeah, these inner walls, they're coming down. I'm getting rid of them because it needs to expand. I hope it's wide enough on this side here. But I really don't know. I want to put those turrets you were talking about. How do you position turrets? Do you need, like, a... a like a foundation down and then build some kind of like you can, tower. You can place them on hatch frames like that. The metal hatch hatch frames uh foundations. Or you can place them on your roof. You can place them on ramps. You can place them on really anything. As long as you can place them on ceiling tiles as well. And they have to be powered by electricity I guess too, yeah. Yeah. I don't know, man. We're going to need... I'm going to have to use some of that polymer that, you know, I was trying to save as much as I could to fucking buy that go egg ahead, off man. you guys, you but... Make it. Turrets can go about anywhere. 
just need to know how to lay electricity. Yeah, I know, that's the problem, the electricity thing. I'll die in a dehydration again. Oh, fuck. Here we go. Damn. Should I fertilize this? I didn't grab the fertilizer. Yeah, so... I'm thinking with these turrets... I guess it's best to just... I wish we could stretch them to the walls of our base, but it's gonna be a lot of wires running for fucking electricity to power them, for fuck's sakes. And rockets. If somebody shoots a rocket at these gates, like... Didn't you say that they just disintegrate or some shit? They they have a they have a health level. We take a few rounds to get them down. What about metal walls? Would the metal walls be stronger and better than just this shit? Stone. Metal walls would be stronger, yeah. But they can still get destroyed by the shit. Yeah, it would just take a lot more to destroy them. Well, I don't think we have to worry about you, your clan, their tribe going against like us hopefully right like you guys aren't gonna fucking... unless unless you de declare war on us we won't declare war on you yeah no and if i declare war on somebody can you undeclare war like fucking as easily as you can click and hold on that shit <laughs> yeah i'm pretty sure you can if you do well, it if you were yeah you know, if you were to have trouble with someone in the server and you were to declare war on them, we'd be involved because we're allied. So we could back you up. Yeah, alright. Oh, I won't... I'll, I'll try my best not to trouble you guys, man. I've been fucking... I was trying to figure out how oh, to do a, a tribe dude, chat thing. If, I don't know. If you were gonna declare war on somebody, I wouldn't mind. You just tell me. I'll be <laughs> right there with a rifle. I'll shoot some fuckers in the head. I don't give a shit. Uh, shit. I'll tear down their whole fucking base if I have to. Yeah, well... I don't know about shit. that. Shit, if you capture one, you could take them prisoner, right? <laughs> oh, I will. I want to fucking knock him out and fucking drag his ass all the way back to base and put him in a cage. That's fucked up, like, man. This game I've, is I've fucked up. I've actually got a fucking picture um, on my uh, profile. I think it's me, Apache, and somebody else fucking... Uh, we were messing around talking to some guy, we locked him in a cage and we were speaking to him, shouting at him and shit through the mic and I was like to him, Tell me the fucking code! Tell me the fucking code! <laughs> I was like, the code. I was like, who is your master? Who do you work for? Tell me the fucking code! What's the code for, you were saying, like, for your third base? Huh? The code you were trying to get, was that, like, for their base, or...? Was he saying that to you? No, I was saying that to him. <laughs> I was just messing around like they do in the movies. Tell me the fucking code! Fuck. I know you know the fucking code, bitch! Tell me the fucking code! Yeah, nah. Crazy. But yeah, that was some funny shit, man. Apache was Crazy. laughing, I was laughing, some other dude with us was laughing, it was funny as shit. Can't put any more in there. So is your server. Yeah, um, what's the status on the server going PvP for the majority hours and off hours not? Is that up We're, we're going to have it to the point where there's going to be certain times that PvP will be allowed. Yeah, that's what uh, Scotty was saying there. Or so it'll be when shit goes down like that, where PvP is fully allowed at certain times like for an hour or so everyone will be free for all it's gonna be nuts it's gonna be fun I mean it ain't gonna get to the point where we're gonna rip each other's bases down but it probably will get to the point where we'll lose a few teams oh I've already lost and fucking three and probably gonna lose another How so will most definitely die I so will shoot him in his head I'm just gonna like roll around with bow and arrow and you guys can kill me all you want. I ain't gonna have nothing to fucking lose, so to say. Bows Dude, and arrows. If I, if I run up on you, 
And I see you don't have any armor on, and a bow and arrow. I'm gonna wear it. cloth clothes and fucking nothing. <laughs> if I run across anyone uh, that looks like they're not at, at an advantage to be able to give me a challenge, then I probably won't even kill them. Yeah, well, that, sort of dude, that adds a little comfort. I don't know. <laughs> I wouldn't, I wouldn't, it's like if I was to run up on someone on seven days to die, yeah, I would fucking most definitely shoot them. But on here, it's a different story, like. Yeah, no, yeah. Seven days to die. Them. Usually in that, you kill. It's, you don't ask. You don't wait for them to kill you. You just kill them before anything happens because most of them are yeah. going to try to kill you, whether it's with a stone axe, their fist, a fucking bow and arrow. Like, they get pretty dirty, man. They they see you with guns and it's shit, just, and they know you've been here, and they still try to punch you and shit. It's like if anyone fucks me right, I'm gonna blow their fucking brains out. It's simple as that. But if if they if they look like they're at a dis disadvantage because of the things that I have and the, the inventory that they have. They could the have a hell? bow and arrow in a few hours. I will not shoot them. Um, what is she saying? Naked fizzle. They say, "Howdy, partner. How you fucking going there? You want some bullets? You want a gun? Yeah, go, go defend yeah. yourself. Bye bye." <laughs> no, I uh, I don't know. It's fucked up though. Like, but I don't know. it's something I'm really not looking forward to. We'll just say this fucking player oh, versus good, player man. shit. If, if it comes to PvP and one of my tribe members say that we're gonna go kill Fizzle, dude, I will tell them not to. I don't want you getting killed, man. It's, it's not fair. You don't have a lot of shit. You're new to the game. It, it's not fair. It's gonna, well, it's I've been be playing activated. it a week or so, so they're two weeks almost now, so I'm not still new, new, but... I know, but you're you're know. fairly on the line of new, right? You know a lot of shit now, but there's not there's also a lot of shit that you don't know. Oh, there and is. I've learned quite a bit of shit from you and streamers. It's a bit streamers of a and, pain in yeah. the ass if you get a, another player that's more like to an, an advantage of you because he's been fuck. playing more or yeah. more experienced than you. You're not going to know what to fucking do, right? You're most likely going to die. Oh, yeah, like, for sure. Fuck. I, I will probably die once or twice. I'm not going to lie. I've played this game for two years and fucking I know slight parts about PvP but most of the shit I know is PvE so I probably will most likely die a lot more than yeah. you would. shit maybe even the same man you got but, a strong shotgun though there I seen you blasting shit with that and it, it you know oh, one dude. blast from that shoddy <laughs> you're fucked like you're dead especially if you're low dude, level this, and shit like this shotgun you don't man stand like chance. anything up from ascendant flak right so ascendant flak this 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 fucking shotgun man will fucking rinse that fucking ascendant flak that anyone has on. This shit is powerful as fuck. Like, it brings down 135 fucking uh, Bontos in two shots. It's some crazy shit. So, if I yeah. hit a headshot on somebody with this fucking gun, oh my god, it's gonna rinse all of their fucking armor. Yeah, it's the headshots, yeah. They make a lot more damage, right? The headshots. Like, yeah, it'll, it'll fuck them up. I noticed that with the dinos, if I shoot them in the head, they tend to die quicker and easier than... But well, yeah, if, if I do, if I, when we do go to PvP and I come to your base and I see somebody at your base that I don't recognize, dude, they're gonna get fucking blasted in the fucking head. They're either gonna get fucking eaten, or they're gonna get a fucking bullet in their head. <laughs> it's as simple as that. <laughs> Man, I so wanna get... I wanna get we'll that, definitely have that the uh QWERTY or whatever the fuck it's called. Quetz. Sorry. Call it a QWERTY. Quetzal. I wanna get one of those, but Pow ain't on often enough. And Ricky, he's on his own mission there. He's been building like a an underwater dino pen or something and I haven't even seen that yet. I wanna see that. But I don't know where exactly it is, but he says it's close to that Viking Bay base that we have up there. Yeah. And he's got like he spends a lot of time underwater, so his oxygen is cranked, I guess. Man, this yeah, takes a long time. A... Fuck. I need to I need to actually build us a water pen as well. I wanna get some dinos from the water on a How on a does that monster. go down? A water pen, like you literally need to it's be able to hold deep. your breath for a fucking long time to be down there all the time, like Oh, dude, when when it was back on Ragnarok on Crypt server, I had oxygen levels like 1100. Holy I was shit. down. I could be underwater for like fucking half an hour, and then I'd have to come back up and then stay under there for another half an hour. Like I could I could go for fucking ages. 
and I'd just be chilling. I had a megalodon called uh, what was her name? Roxana, I think her name was. Hey. And I took her in a cave, like a artifact cave, and she ended up dying. And artifacts. I bred her. Yeah. Shit. I bred her before she died, and I had another one, and I named it Roxana Mark II, <laughs> and went and fucked mm. up everything. Everything that destroyed her, it was like three alpha fucking sharks, right? Just pounced on her. Fucking and destroyed her. Yeah, no, nah, that's fucked up. We've got and I went four back fertilizers. Strong one beat the shit out of them. Why? What's up there, yeah. uh, dirty dish? He asked me how much fertilizer I have. I don't know. Right, give me a second anyway, Fizzle. I gotta, yeah. I gotta go do something with you. Cool, man. I'll be here. I know this is the trials and tribulations of fucking arc, man. You lose a fucking tame, it kind of blows. A dung beetle? Yeah, I was told about this dung beetle thing, and you gotta go into a cave to find it. When you're in those caves, I don't know. It's nothing but trouble. Go to the desert and pick one up with an argy. I don't even know what the fucker. I'll have to. I know a, what a dung beetle is, but I don't know what it looks like. I have to figure out what the fuck one looks like. So I know what I'm looking for. Aw, oh, dude. I just fucked up big time. How? What do you mean? In the game or outside of game land? My sister gave me some tobacco, right? Yeah. And it's a different make to the tobacco that I have. And I mixed it with my one, by accident. Oh, no. Yeah, that's gonna taste really fucking strange, I guess. Yeah. It's gonna fuck me up. But yeah, shit like that's dangerous, man. Like, I remember a buddy of mine, he mixed tobacco with a different type of tobacco and it made him puke blood. Really? Puking blood off mixing tobacco? It's about yeah, the size of yeah, the you get you get two different strands of um, tobacco that are obviously um, grew different in different environments and shit like that, and you you mix them together, it can really fuck you up, give you a headache. Yeah. And shit. Well, if you breathe in car exhaust too long, that shit can give you a headache too. But you know, I'm just saying, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> nah, yeah. chances are it won't kill you, you just get choked out a little bit, get some brain damage. I fucking, I worked in a garage, man, I don't know how you feel. Like, oh, I've been around <laughs> car exhaust a few times. Ever, ever since I worked in a garage, right, there's always one smell I always recognize. There's also another one. It's either antifreeze or oil, like car oil. And oh my god, every time I smell that, it just gives me bad memories. Yeah, fuck. <laughs> like, for real, man. You still want to get into that car stuff, though, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, I ain't giving up. Yeah, no, it's... It shows that you're persistent and you're determined and, you know, those those are good things. You can put that shit on your resume, probably, you know? <clears throat> yeah, like, fucking... Dude, I know Doesn't a lot about quit. Hard. He's a fucking go-getter. Where's my, uh, what's it called, Rockasaurus thing? I think you should place a three or four plant X down in your courtyard, but need more. Yeah, I know, I, you constantly have to dump fertilizer into those plant crop things. I noticed, where's my fucking Ankylosaurus, there it is. I don't know, man. I I don't know. We do have a bunch of plant X and plant Y, so motherfuckers want to come near our base once we get those crops going. I don't know how effective those plants are, but we're going to see exactly what the fuck happens. And I don't know, like, should we put those plant X things on the outside of our base wall or on the inside of our base wall? Like, I think you're on supposed the to put them on the outside, but... People can destroy your shit if it's on the outside of the wall easier than the inside, so I don't know. Would they still be effective on the inside or just totally useless? 
they'll be effective, but there won't be a lot of range between the wall and them. So if somebody gets through your wall, they're going to be able to outrun them plant species, uh, plants. Yeah, well, Buddy says you can put them on the inside and out, I guess. So that's, that's entirely up to you. That's good, yeah. I don't know, I'm gonna just fucking put them both inside and out, fuck it. What's Anki on here? Is he on passive? Neutral? Okay. Let's get some fucking resourcing done. If Rex would leave me alone, sticks his head up my ass all the time. I keep setting him to high, like, keep him as far away from me as possible. We need some trees, man. Where the fuck are the closest trees around here? Holy crap, that sun's bright. I wish there was a sun visor, man. Sunglasses. A fucking ball cap. Yeah, I know. T-Rex loves to fucking jam its nose right in my ass. Like, Anki didn't hit that tree. I'm low on water again. Yeah. Now, if I use this Ankylosaurus hanging from the Argy, it should chop trees down and rocks and stuff, right? I'm not sure if he'll break shit while you're carrying him. No, he's not. He's not doing shit. Fuck. Alright, Rex. Where'd my Anki go? Come on. Give me a fucking turn. Fucking goddamn. Something just attacked us. I don't know what to whistle this damn Argy on. He's on neutral, I think. Can't tell. Yeah, keep neutral. Him on neutral. If anyone attacks him, you'll beat the shit out of him. If he's a high level one, anyway. Yeah. Anki doesn't auto harvest. Yeah, I figured. I tried a few times, and they say it's crazy if you do the same thing over and over, expecting different results, and you still get the same results. That is the definition of crazy. Expecting different results from something and repeating the same shit. Telephone A. Argy's not following me. Okay, Argy, you gotta follow me. I'm not too quick on this shit. I'm still kinda trying, but. Mmm, red and green tea. Red and green tea make what color tea? Blue? Purple. Purple? Red and green. I, I can't remember, man. Red and green. Red and green. I don't know what colors red and green make. I'm, I'm so fucking far out of school that I have no fucking idea. I think it's like orange or something, isn't it? Turns out dung beetles are much closer than I thought. The map says they're at 30.55. Alright, I'm gonna write that down. Just... Red and uh, green, yellow, you fucking donuts. Dung beetles. Dung beetle. Found that. Uh, uh, 30.55. Thank you. Thanks a lot, dirt man. This guy is like a genius here. No cave, no desert. That is awesome. I don't like the caves. I haven't been in one yet. And I just don't want to go into one. Oh, well, you're gonna need a lot of shit before you go in there. Shit ton of bullets and a fucking decent shotgun. You think a shotgun's better than the assault rifle? Yeah. That's fucked up, because I know you get more distance, more range with the assault rifle. You figure 
you kill them before they get to you. The shotgun's like a close range weapon, is but in the caves you're gonna deal with a lot of shit. You think, like. I just got a point. Something got a point here. What got a point? Argy? Oh, yeah, it was this. Caves are close quarter. Yeah, yeah. I need thatch and shit ton, so I had to get this goddamn Ankylosaurus on the trees because the beaver just wasn't doing it. Oh, what was I doing? Yeah, I meant to spend man. the skill point. Spill, skill point. Melee damage. He's harvest. Melee damage. Penis I want to crank damage. his health up too. Movement speed. Fuck it. You're getting some faster legs there, Wrecker. Come on, game. I'm trying to go. This creature looks like something I saw in some kind of fucked up movie almost like... What was that movie with Kevin Bacon in it? And they had, oh, Tremors, like, it kinda, almost kinda gives me a, f I don't think that was the right movie though. I think there's another movie. There's some weird looking thing, it looks like the Ankylosaurus. Actually, no, I think it was Star Trek or something. The Wrath of Khan. They fucking, they put these weird little bugs inside helmets and then they put the helmets on the crew members that they wanted to have some problems in. The bugs would crawl into their brain and fuck knows what to their brain, but it turned them into like, I don't know, something where you could pretty much have them controlled. So that yeah, you can fuck. get them to do whatever you want. And you know what? You don't need stuff like that. There's a uh, police and military have a device they use with radio frequencies and it controls goddamn, uh, it can pretty much have you think stuff that you wouldn't even normally think which sounds kind of crazy but there's lots of stuff on the internet google that shit mind control yeah hey super gamer girl thanks for dropping by i was asking people about how do we protect ourselves from the radio frequencies that they're blasting with this goddamn weapon what the fuck was that something just jumped on me and screwed me over a micro micro raptor or some fucking shit. Oh, not them fuckers, man. These fucking cracked me right off my ride. All right, you damn fuckers, man. Okay, I need you to fuck off, Rex. You you're too fucking close. You gotta go somewhere else and fucking ride up someone else's ass. His targeting's on high and it's still riding up my fucking ass. Like, how do I get this fucking thing? Goddamn, beat it. Throw them. I'm just tired of some of this shit. Like, I've got the behavior set to like high so that they're not right on my fucking ass when I'm trying to do stuff I'm trying to just move and they're fucking the head's right in my way it just comes over front of me and I can't fucking move cause it's fucking stupid fucking motherfucker holy shit fuck <laughs> this fucking shit's driving me out of my mind sometimes I can't make them fuck off they just constantly I got it set to high and they're still right on my ass like I'm stuck here almost there we go it's all good we'll figure out a way I gotta get some uh, some dog collar shock collar things to stick them on their necks when they get close to me just zap them they'll learn from that shit They'll learn the hard way. Yeah, uh, yeah, I've been getting angry at this game a few times. Oh, what 
the fuck is wrong with this shit, but... Trees, trees. I'm trying to get as much thatch as I can possibly get before I get out of here. Yeah, well, you gotta be careful when you're banging walls and stuff because these walls, well, as you can see, they're like paper. The floor is concrete, but the whole fucking concrete is fucking rotting away. If you look at the balconies, you can see where the concrete is disintegrating. I don't know, it was hanging off a nail, probably. Uh, it probably went into the wall, or came out of the wall, but... I've had that happen a few things that the nail just went into the wall. You figure when shit falls off the wall, the nail would drop on the fucking floor. Oh shit, what's that? A carnivore? Carny or something? Get off of my fucking head. I just want to kill this fucking Argy. I don't want these things around me anymore. Like, I'm just going to say fuck these dinosaurs. I'll be on my own. You should put damage, you should put allow damage to pets on here so I can kill these fucking things when they piss me off. And I don't have to worry about them. I don't fucking worry about them anymore. There, go the fuck down there, you cocksuckers. No, it's just standing over me and I'm still stuck here. This game is literally glitching the fuck out, like... What's up? The game is glitching out. They won't respond to my commands. They won't move so I can move. They won't fuck off when I try to move. Like... I'm gonna go back to seven days if this shit keeps fucking going the way it's going. Like, fuck this shit. Thought it was gonna be a little more fun than this, but this shit ain't fun to me. This shit's fucking annoying. What's happening? <laughs> Glitch and bullshit. I don't know what the fuck is going on, but I commanded them dinosaurs to get the fuck away from me. I don't know where they went. They went somewhere totally different from where I told them to go. They're not moving. They're just frozen. Fuck. I, I don't no, fucking I know. No they love you, Fizzle. They want to be around you, man. Yeah, well, that's why I'm fucking solo. Whistle the fuck off command, yeah. Careful banging walls, Chica. What the fuck is what? So they can just stay up there and entertain themselves. I'm happy with this space we have now. This is perfect. Got some breathing room here. Oh no. No, 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 fuck. Ah. You little bastard. It's gonna chew me off my fucking dinosaur before I kill it, probably. Fuck you, Carney. I will get you. Fucking dead meat, motherfucker. It looked like a devil with the horns on its head. A horny little devil. I need to get more level up in Anki. Melee is coming up. Melee, melee, melee. Alright, Anki. Let's go. I can't switch my screen when I have the gun out it just doesn't let me fucking do anything it just freezes you up with the gun in your hand okay just take a fucking chill pill right are we done with thatch <laughs> for about four or five gates. Let's go back up here and call these fools.
come it's not working too far away I got a nice sword that I made from a blueprint thanks to somebody I don't know if that was me who found that or someone else pal maybe but that's a fucking nice sword does a lot more damage than that piece of shit that I can make this shit on the road damn and the door opens up that way I don't know sometimes I fucking I want it to open inwards I go to it out there it opens outwards okay whatever right whatever we'll just leave that fucking shit open where's Sam Sam is in here. Okay. Sam is playing up the asshole with Rex. I want to ride this fucking dinosaur, please. Fucking goddamn. Forward if you open from the right and inward if you close. What the right. fuck was that? I just had some crazy bird shit. What the fuck? Bird shit. Yeah, I know. Now this bird is literally stuck between two Rex's fucking noses. Oh, fuck me. Fucking bullshit. Land, you fucking dumb bird. Stop following me, please. The bird has to stop too, but it keeps spinning the fuck around here. Thank you. God damn. Darkness is falling across the land. The midnight hour is close at hand. Alright. I'm gonna tell Fizzle to spread him. I'll be there in half an hour. Fuck. Um. Yeah. Yeah, I like that Michael Jackson shit. So I've only got enough thatch for a small amount. Looks like we're going back out there real soon. <laughs> oh, that's funny, man. I don't know. Nah, I was watching a video and some dude was asleep on the sofa, right? What? <laughs> What well, they did to <laughs> He had his head on the arm of the sofa and, he w and a beat dropped in the house like on stereo. And he started smacking him in the head while he was asleep. And his head was bouncing off the side of the sofa and it's fucking hilarious. Yeah. Yo, Dirty, the thatch I'm collecting is it's for... Uh, what's it for? It's so I can build more of these damn BMS gate fucking jobs here. Cause I keep going through a lot of it. A thousand thatch, a thousand wood, a thousand stone. Fucking one goddamn gate. So now we've got like I don't know how many thousand, but there's a lot more than there was. That's fucking. Oh, that's it. nasty, man! What the fuck? Yeah, thatch is needed for all kinds of stuff. Everything you do, like anything building almost, like especially off the basics. Yeah, but in here, 
I'm mainly using it for the walls to, to collect the shit so I can build these giant gate wall things. Yeah, you don't want to do that. Trust me. Who is it? You don't want to kill anybody unless they're trying to fucking kill you. Then you might have to just do what you gotta do. Unplug the fuck up. Do you know her? Like how the fuck? It, how the Murder fuck she got your phone uh, number or your telephone? Right <laughs> yeah. I don't want to start tearing down my walls yet, dirty, until Man. I actually get walls going on around. Tell Just, that uh, bitch. Don't know what you heard. Damn. Don't know what you want to say to me? Will you carry on, and I'm gonna get my boyfriend Fizzle to stick his dick in your ear and fuck what you heard. Fuck what fuck. you heard, bitch. All right, all right, easy now. No, that's not what the doctor says. Doctor says I'm good. I've tried to get a second opinion, or actually, I tried to get like fucking ten different opinions, but they don't want to give me that label for some weird reason. They don't want to accept the truth for what it is. And, well, you'd be psycho too if you had to deal with some of this shit that some of us gotta deal with sometimes. You need a megaloceros. The reindeer, Rhino. The meg megaloceros, yeah. I've seen those all around up on the mountain up above us. Pal, you know what happened to Pal? A bear started fucking coming at him there. He said, no, the bears are fine. But... We were sitting there, I was trying to get him off the ground, pick him up. And next thing you know, the bear starts going aggro on him and fucking, yeah, I don't know, chasing him around. And I had to chase power around the fucking ice mountain thing over by Ronan Space there for a fucking bit. And then he dies by something. And I don't know, man, it was just a shit show. Fucking shit show. He gets killed more often than I do, that's for sure. <laughs> He's dying all the fucking time. Good thing you don't lose any health. Well, you lose your health and you gotta get your shit back if you don't while well, it disappears, but, yeah. I don't know. Bears are harsh, yeah. Well, I was by them a few times in the damn things. I tried to build a taming pen inside my base wall for something, but... I don't know, it's... I had my shit on neutral and they killed the fucking thing before I could turn them to not kill it. Oh, fuck. So next time I do that, I have to reevaluate what I'm doing. How many of these walls do I have now? I've got two of those. I need the doors. Use your buddy's taming pen next. Yeah, I know, I know. It is, I totally forgot about that taming pen thing. And, well, I know it's there, and I'm going to be using it for something here very soon. I can't see shit in here. We need fucking, why are the lights not on in here? The generator's down or something? Yo, what power is the fucking generator? Gas? So the fridge is fucking, man, everything's going to spoil because oil and hide in the forge. Do you have any oil? A little bit. Where's the oil? In a town named Kikachu. They lived a humble Something's attacking something out there. 
But hey, there was a black sheep, but he knew just what to do. His name was Young Fizzle, and he knew how to fucking ride. <laughs> he had a fucking conscience of fucking rock and roll all the time. Oh, and the dragon falls ablaze, and then Fizzle stepped into his cave. And he sliced his fucking cockles with a long and shiny blade. Oh, yeah. yeah, Fizzle, fuck the dragon, fuck a lice and fuck a loo. And if you try to fuck with him, then he shall fuck you too. Yeah. Sometimes it Gotta could get be along possible. The party zone. You, you ever seen a film called Tenacious D? Yeah, man, that was fucking ridiculous. That's where but it's from. I don't know, <laughs> like, man, that shit was fucked up. <laughs> when he gets a boner, pushes the red button with his boner in that fucking place to get the guitar pick, whatever. I don't remember all that, but yeah, that I I know that movie was fucked up, shit, man. That was fucking ridiculous. <laughs> oh shit! Can't say I really liked it a hunt a whole lot, but I don't know. It was good to watch. See what the fuck this shit tenacious D, the pick of destiny. That's it, bud. Oh, I know. I I know Jack. What's his name? Jack Black. I don't know him, no, but I know. Fucking guy's hilarious. Oh, dude, he's fucking like amazing. Even like his older films, like Gulliver's Travels and shit like that, are amazing. Gulliver's Gobbles. Uh, Gulliver's, Gulliver's Gobbles. Travels. Gulliver's Travels. Gulliver gobbles. No. <laughs> I know, I know. Fuck. Uh, yeah, one of damn. my favorites, Mark Wahlberg. I love that dude. You know what? He actually grew up like kind of criminally active and shit. And I don't know what happened, but man, he turned from like <gasps> bullshit to like he got like seriously rich, and people just love the fucking guy, man. Like I don't hate him, but I don't love him, but. I don't know. He did his shit, man. He's he's set for life now, right? Can't go worry. But he's got a badass attitude that tends to get him in a lot of trouble sometimes. So I've got two doors. I need a third door. I need more wood, please. We got a whole chest full of that upstairs. Oh wait, is this a reinforced? Yeah, there's one. Okay. Um, what else am I doing here? Drop that off. Let's put some more, because we need a shit ton of wood in there. Yeah, I tried to get her to come out of hiding. She just... She wouldn't come out. Just don't try to pull her out of there, force her out, you know. Can I join your Carry tribe? On, I'll make you drop the soap. Ethan Zuzam, I don't know how to say his even name here. Oilova, he say he wants to join a tribe. Are you 18 or older? And you got a mic? Because my friend Pow and I kind of agreed upon, like, nobody's joining our tribe unless they're, like, over 18. Just don't like a lot of bullshit from the younger fellas. Sometimes they're nothing but trouble. Y'all better run for cover, right? Here's the woman to make you drop the soap. Fuck. <laughs> you want to see my ass that bad, man? Holy fuck. <laughs> Uh, shit. Oh, man. Like, what the fuck is going on around here, right? He's gonna drop the soap, right? And then we're gonna shove the plunger handle up his ass. Jesus. <laughs> uh, some have tried. What? Some have tried. What? <laughs> He's 18 Don't tell him plus you're already tried sticking something up your ass. What, you haven't been to jail, man? You ain't had fucking bum rush? 
Nobody. I ain't saying they got me. I'm saying they've tried. There's a difference between being got and being tried. And well, sometimes you gotta get bloody and messy to fucking get fuckers to see the light, right? And I ain't very big and strong, but I know how to break fuckers. I don't need an axe. I don't need a fucking gun. I can do it with my bare hands. Just break myself doing it sometimes, but it's worth the fucking shit. Sometimes you gain a new friend out of the fucking experience. You never know. <laughs> yeah, this well, guy wants to join our it? tribe. Yeah, this, this guy... is the guy that I went prison with and he tried fucking me up the ass and beat the <laughs> shit out of him. <laughs> Now he's a new man, right? Uh, shit. Now he don't do that anymore. He does other it's shit. Oh, it's entirely up to you what you do with your tribe. I'm not telling you what to do with that, but <laughs> just be wary of new players, okay? I know, man. I am so paranoid and kind of afraid to even think about adding just random people. Like, how do I get to know people aren't going to fuck me around and shit, right? Hello there, man. Get them to do things for you. You can trust him by then. You can trust him. Buddy says he was in an alpha tribe when the game first came out. Yeah, well, I don't know, man. I, I'd like to have more tribe people because I feel like I'm doing everything myself sometimes. But same time, like I don't really trust everybody that well. And fuck, man. Like I don't know. You get some good and bad and whatever, right? I don't know, man. Guess I, you guess know. I just, guess what I just said to Charlene? I don't know what to fucking say. What did you say? That I'm gonna blow her back out. <laughs> yeah. Are you guys? Are you guys good or doing any better than the last time? You guys kind of. Oh, yeah, uh, okay, that's good, man. I'll just tell you. I don't know. You can do what I say, or you can just say go fuck yourself. But I tell you, when it comes to the women, man. You really don't want to push them, you know, like, you you want to, like, I don't know, just take the shit they deal and just try to let it fly off and don't, don't get pissed off at them, don't vent at them, don't fucking raise your voice at them, all that shit. Even when you want to, just go outside and punch a wall or kick a fucking goat or whatever the fuck you want to fucking do, right? I don't know. I'm gonna tell her, I'm gonna tell her I'm gonna fuck Fizzle in his bum and she's gonna get angry. Can't say nah, it, I just know that it will never happen, but you can keep dreaming about it if you like. <laughs> 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 fuck. You like the dream there. You got some fucked up dreams. I got some fucked up dreams too. Really fucked up dreams. I had a dream I was in China there, stuck on a fucking island somewhere, and I don't know what the fuck was going on. It was like Ark Survival mixed with I don't know what, Dungeons and Dragons or some shit, man. That was some fucking messed up shit. I need two more fence thing doors. Fuck, fuck. Eric is all about politics. Really? I hate politics. I don't like any of that crap. These guys claiming they're gonna help the country, they're gonna help this, they're gonna help that, and what do they do when they get elected? They do nothing of the sort. They just suck back the tax dollars and fucking, oh man, I don't know. I, I've seen too much and heard too much about politics and political jackasses. Some of them might mean well, but they definitely don't all do well. Some of them... I don't know. They shouldn't be where they're at. They should be somewhere else. Maybe working in a farm. Working in a, a pig factory, cleaning up shit or something. Yeah. That's what I want to do. I want to take a trip and never leave the farm. You know what they call that? LSD. <laughs> Give them some acid or some mushrooms. And... Oh my God. 
When he first played, it was all about politics. People just control. Yeah, no. This game is, I don't know, It's it. there's good and bad to every game, but this one hopefully isn't going to be too bad. Can't go here, there, or you will. Uh, yeah, no, there's some people want to control the whole world, right? They want to rule the world, so we need thatch more and wood more. I'm almost done with this thatch wood bullshit. Oh, I don't have any more thatch. Okay. Let's see. Nope, no more thatch. Alright. Alright, my wall building bullshit is fucking done for this session. Holy fucking goddamn. What server you play? This server's called Capital G, as in Gary, Capital H, as in Hairball, Capital J, as in Joker. Capital K is in ketamine. And it is player versus environment rate at the moment, but they are in the works of changing it in I don't know what hours of the day it's gonna be PvP. It's public. They're gonna change it eventually here. I think they're getting very close to making that decision on having the PvP aspect for some part of the day and then mostly player versus environment for like off hours or some shit I don't know what that means exactly for the hours I'll have to figure that out when we get to that road wood and thatch so I have an hour till my appointment I've gotta go wash the shit off my face I just wake up I have a tea and I play Eric like <laughs> Yeah, this is, like I say, this is mostly right now, it's been just player versus environment. But the leader of the pack, he, I was talking to him yesterday and he said that he is working on making it player versus player for some of the day and player versus environment for the rest of the day. Like the off hours, he said, which I don't know exactly what hours that's going to be, but... He wanted more traffic on the server, so I'm glad that he gave me a lot of time to get a feel for this shit, for what I'm doing, and not just get totally screwed, but I don't know what a cluster is. What, what, do, you, what do you mean when you ask cluster? Is there still cluster? Are there still clusters in ARC? That makes no sense to me. I don't know what you mean. I'm not an expert. I barely hanging in here. Cluster server. Yo, Ronan, are you still there? How long does it take for stuff in the fridge to go bad if the power isn't in the fucking goddamn thing? This is not a cluster server. Yeah, about to run far, come on. Nothing but trouble. Oh shit, I keep turning it off. I don't mean to turn it off. I keep hitting triangle to access stuff. There are still cluster servers, yeah. Alright, 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 alright. Let me see my inventory one last time here. I've got the gates. Let's get outside and start placing shit bad, again. Sorry. I'm trying to ring the fucking doctors, man. Yeah, nah. Ring their damn necks. Fucking useless pricks. Oh, uh, I know. They're overeducated, overpaid, and a lot of the time they treat people less than human, so I've got my opinions about doctors. Lots of yeah. negative opinions, especially for some of them because of the shit that they're fucking responsible for. Yeah. Motherfuckers. Okay, um, oh shit, I left the door open over here. That's the thing, with one door, you don't have to worry, you know if you close it or not. Two doors, you always gotta look around and make sure the other one's closed. Man, shit, I still remember when I was breeding Argies and... Yeah, breeding Argies and shit, that sounds fucked up. Breeding them. These guys are breeding Gigas and I don't know what the fucks. 
this whole game is time time like it's it reminds me of GTA when it came out with all them new updates they don't want you to leave they want you to fucking be here all the damn time and like I know some of us are in game land a lot but none of us want to be here 24 7 like yeah, sometimes I am here 24-7, but I don't want to be here 24-7, but I ain't got nothing else to do, so I don't give a fucking rat's ass. If I had other things to do, maybe shit would be different. Let me go over here, check my situation. I don't know if this wall is going to be far enough down for my liking. Is that going to be wide enough around this base perimeter? It should suffice, maybe. Yeah, yes. Yeah. There's this shithole called Swiss Chalet, man. It's overpriced fucking bullshit. The food, you know, they're known for their shit, but over fucking priced. Really overpriced. Nobody even needs to pay that much for fucking chicken and fucking fries. And most of their things is like about 17 bucks for a one person meal. Like, yeah. Very expensive. And, like I say. Over fucking priced. People might think you forgot you were awake or something. I don't know, pajama bottom thing. Yeah, there's a lot of flack on people wearing pajama bottoms. There we go. Oh. Behemoth, behemoth, behemoth. The behemoth monstrosities. I need to destroy. Oh shit. That guy didn't go aggro on me? Nice. All those spikes. For the picture, what are you talking about? Jesus Christ. Should I go one more over this way? Make it over here. Then I have to make that over there. Fuck it, yeah, I'm going another one. Bigger is better. Go big or go home, right? Bigger's better here. I can't line this shit up properly. Bigger's better here. Where's my door? There it is. This is a monstrosity for goddamn gates and shit. Only good thing about is raiding. Mm-mm-mm. Well, you done done me. You Only good thing about it. is raiding. I don't know about that. Now try to get back. Before fizzle gun run out, I'll be giving it the fastest enough. We gotta stop the can't place these properly sometimes. So I won't Just ask your buddy no how to use more, no more. how to use orbital cam. Do you use that orbital camera there, Roman? <laughs> nah, I, I kind of find it fucking useless. It's good it's, to look over walls and shit. It's PVP, like but. yeah, yeah. It's 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 like backwards. Down is up, and up is down. It's totally reversed. Yeah. 
it, it's good for the PvP perspective because you can look at, use it to look over people's walls. You could lay on top of the mountain and look at, use it to look down the mountain, like up, down the side of the cliff, see if there's anyone around. It's, it's a good advantage to have for PvP. The PvE perspective, it's not really that well. It's not really developed for the PvE perspective of the game. You up, you dumb but bird. for the PvP, it's an amazing addition. Let's just think, if you're in a situation where you're on a shark, right, and you've got a guy following you on a, following you on a boat, and you're under the water, right, you can use the orbital camera just above the, uh, the surface, and you can actually look above the surface and see where he is without him knowing where you are. Yeah. It's amazing. Kind of crazy, yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, uh, Oh my god. Fuck me. Fuck me. You guys can hear them, yeah. Who are they? Well, it's my aunt and my grandmother. You can't really hear my grandmother because she's whispering, but you can probably hear my aunt because she, her voice is working very good. Fizzle. Can I, can I dare you to do something? Dare me. Yes. Dare me to jump off a bridge? No, I'm gonna dare you to ask your aunt to make you a sandwich. Fuck that, man. I don't give a fuck about no sandwiches. <laughs> She'll beat your ass. What's the deal with that? I've heard people online, on stream, saying, Haters, go make me a sandwich or something fucking shit. It is just a common word used to ba like basically to say a woman belongs in the kitchen. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't, you know, I don't believe in bullshit like that. Some men might, but I ain't some men. I'm myself. And I believe in my own shit. I don't believe in this other bullshit that some people believe in, because some people are full of shit. I need a fucking frame. I need thatch and wood and... You know what? I don't want to destroy that wall just yet until I get these walls put up. Am I gonna go out more on this side? Maybe, yeah. I'm just fucked up here. Yeah, I, I try to stay out of that shit show. Fucking... I don't know what to call it other than that. It's bullshit, really. Fizzle. Yo. I still can't believe you said that when you went to prison, somebody tried shoving a dick up your ass, man. Well, there's all kinds of gay people in there too, right? But some people, you know, especially, well, I wasn't in no federal pen, but you get, you know, if you want it, you can have it, because there's a lot of guys in there that, you know, they love to do that shit, I guess, but it's not like everybody that goes to jail gets their ass fucking raped. I'm kind of scarred for life now, man. Don't worry about it, man. If you don't go to jail, you won't have to worry at all about any of that shit, right? You can Dude, just... if another guy ever, ever even stepped foot naked in the same shower as me, <laughs> I'd fucking bury him. Well, you ain't never been to a shithole before. I tell you, when you go in there, people walk around naked <laughs> on the range, off the range, wherever the fuck. Like... They don't give a fuck, like half of them are walking around, it's, it's like, okay man, this is just fucked up. Are we on the nudist colony? There's like a bunch of fucking animal-like people in there sometimes. Yeah, the military is very similar, like, I know, like, I ain't never been in no military, but I've heard many, many, many stories. Yeah. And it's not a fun experience, I'll just say that. Yeah, I know, yeah. 
I know what you mean, man. It's never a fun experience when another guy shoves a dick up your ass. Yeah, no. Can I can yeah. I ask you something, Fiddle? Sometimes that pleases people, right? They that's what they get off on. Can I ask you something? I don't know. Can you handle the truth? Can you handle the truth? I can. <laughs> oh shit. Right. Let's see. Did was it just the tip or did did he not touch you? No, nah, there was nothing, man. It never even came into my ass. I think you know. So you got so the how wrong did you idea. Get the of that he was trying to. Well, some of them, you know, I don't know if you've ever bumped into gay people, but some of them have a way of trying to push their gayness onto everybody around them, and well, and you end up punching one in the head because they wouldn't fuck off, and you warn them, you know. I don't know. You just you you can read people, man. You, you hang around people. You can read them. You know what the fuck they're thinking, what they want. Some people display that shit more than, easier than others. Some hide it and shit, but some people just have no respect for anybody else, and they their flamboyance is a little bit too much. Like, and they think because I'm not, hey, fuck you, gay, this, that, whatever, like getting all gay, hating and shit. They think that maybe I'm gay and want to be gay with them and shit, but you know. I've given the wrong impressions a few times, I guess, and I try not to make enemies. I try to make friends over enemies, or at least acquaintances, you know, that I could tolerate without having to worry about, is this fucker going to try to poke me when I'm bending over in the fucking shower or some shit? Like, you know. In jail, you're on, usually you're on a range. In the one here, it's like a Supermax. It's, uh... Designed like Supermax, there's 16 fuckers on a range, and there's two showers, and, you know, the guards, there's only, like, a few guards to watch about 300 inmates, so, in inmates outnumber the guards a shit ton to nothing, like, so if they wanted to, the inmates could take that jail by the balls, so to say, and do whatever the fuck. I don't know, like... The guards sometimes they get power trip and think that because they're a guard and you broke the law and you gotta do what they say or they lock you in your room and this that whatever but nah they don't have the right to do that shit some of them just let the power go to their heads and they think they get the power to literally do whatever the fuck they want and it's against all human rights and everything like even criminals just cause you're locked up you still have rights you still got fucking rights just because you get a criminal offense and you get locked up don't mean you lose all your fucking rights. That's what some guards think, though. Some guards are just fucking rotten. Well, maybe they should bend over in the shower and see how they like it. Oh, trust me. Some of them guys, they are afraid of some of the inmates that are in there. And I know because I've had conversations with a few of them. And they won't fuck with them. They won't even think about fucking with them. And some of them live in the city, man. It's kind of funny. You get out of jail and you see some of the guards walking around the grocery store that, well, you walk around too, so. It's a very small world, we'll just say. Very small world. You don't want to piss I'm, the I'm wrong fuckers I'm off. I'm kind of scarred to life, man. Like, I don't know, like, just, like, from your, from the sound of your voice, right, I'm imagining what you look like. And I'm yeah. trying to imagine... How you'd feel like you standing in the shower and another guy trying to fucking touch your ass, man? It just stopped me, man. Well, you know, stopped. like, you get to know people real quick in a small, confined environment, and let's just say, like, you know, I ain't never had my ass fucked with in jail. So, it is what it is. I ain't big Even and scary looking. Thing. Nope. Not as far as I know, because in, in jails, I don't know if you, you ain't been there, but, uh, in there ask him how big that closet is he's in yeah shit nah like in there you're awake every hour if not all night and shit because when they do their checks they come around every hour banging and rattling keys they smash the window before they get in the range with the keys to wake everybody up they fucking rattle the keys like a motherfucker in the door they don't give a fuck there's no quiet at night in jail it's noise and sometimes people are screaming and hollering and going lunatic and shit cause I guess that's their fucking shit, but, yeah. Jail's a fucking shit show. It's like a circus, but the animals, 
they don't get fucking treated with decency and respect and the people are the animals in that place. <laughs> That's how That's some guards treat you. They don't treat you with respect because you broke the law. Oh, you're just a criminal. But you know what? I hate to say it. I ain't the same as the rest of y'all. I might have stole bikes and cars and TVs and stereos. And I don't give a fucking rat's ass. I ain't no child molester or rapist. So all you motherfuckers can go fuck yourselves. Like, them pieces of shit shouldn't be put in the same fucking place. Like, tax dollars, in my opinion, shouldn't be paying for them to sit in there until their shit's over. They shouldn't even get a second chance. They should be done, like, the first fucking time they get caught. No more, because a lot of criminals don't change, right? A lot yeah. of criminals don't change. They do the same shit their whole life, you know? They me, go into something minor and I was they come out active. something a lot major. Yeah, well, sometimes, yeah, well, you know, you learn from the best and the worst sometimes. But I don't steal shit anymore. I stopped stealing shit years ago. I stopped fucking doing all kinds of shit years ago. Mostly stealing. Death threats, well, I still drop those all the time at people. It just depends on who it is. If somebody fucking gets me going, I usually say something to them that makes them think, oh, death threats, oh, I gotta call 911. Uh, like look at me. I'm I'm not very big. I'm not very scary, but my words just scare people sometimes I don't know I got the power of the fucking words, right? Certain words just cause people to lose their mind And all I wanted to do is get a sandwich, you know, all I wanted to do is get a sandwich <laughs> Oh fucking know. Prison song. Yeah, I don't remember that song Prison song. I'm just trying to make a sandwich. Yeah, I don't know. A lot of bullshit in this world. Some people don't make it any easier. They make it more difficult. You're gonna ruin the stream if your shit's sharing. You're gonna ruin- Don't worry about ruining it. This stream's already ruined with all this fucking shit. This fucking shit talk we got going on here. Oh, so since you said that, I'm gonna ruin it a bit more. Yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna slash and gash, cut another fucking hole in Fizzle's ass. Spill blood on the walls and play tennis with your balls. If the phone <laughs> rings, don't answer the call. I'ma slit your gut, come oh, slit your throat. Fuck you like a goat. Pull your claw skin off and make it win a coat. I'm a I think, surprise. I, I think you've been listening eyes. to too much crap there. Fuck. <laughs> Grate the meat off your thighs, leave the carcass for flies. Cause everyone who meets up with me in the end eventually dies. I'm the last thing you'll see. I'll hang you from a tree. Scare the shit out of you, then watch Fizzle Pee. I'm a badass killer. There ain't nobody iller. The ice cold dead, know, cause man. I'm the fucking chiller. You got some shit there, yeah. I must slice and dice. Cause murder's my vice. I'll stab you once or twice. Or maybe even thrice. Cover initials in your liver. Make your quiver. Deliver. Yeah, that'd be nice. I'll dissect your heart with your entrails apart. Damn. Hang up your head. <laughs> And that's just a start. I'll put the scary, scary people to a doom. <laughs> Prison ass play, yeah, I know. I know. There were a few alert. viewers in there, but they all left a few up. minutes ago. <laughs> this conversation, well, they can't handle the truth, I guess. And the truth is, shit ain't fucking all easy, calm, and cool. Sometimes, shit's a fucking nightmare from hell. I need your cries of fear. This music to my ears. I'll cut off my <laughs> Oscar Mayer's wiener. Stick it in a bun. Slap on some pickle relish. And we having fun. <laughs> I don't know, man, but it's 12:30 here. I have to get on the road. Get on the fucking road. I'll be back right. in about. I don't know. I got a one o'clock appointment. If I'm out of there oh, by 1:30. I should be back by two or so, maybe. I don't know. Before you go, right, Fizzle. Fizzle, I need to tell you something. Yeah. What's up? 
Is it something you already right. told me a few times or something new? No, 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 no. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cleave your gut, treat you like a slut, mutilate your organs, and then shove them up your butt. <laughs> that sounds like a bullshit day there. Not a very fun day. Then I'll, then I'll slam a beer, saw off your toes, jam them in your nose, cut your tongue out and feed it to a trout, fry them in a pan, shoot it in my can, aim at your face, and then you'll know your place. <laughs> Man, you've been listening to too much rap. Scary movie, bruh. This is the uh, rap from Scary Movie, you know, when they're like, What's up? No, <laughs> I, don't, I don't remember everything about that movie, but I know they do that what's up fucking shit. What's up? Yeah. I can't even do it like they do it. They're Shorty's fucking liked him. ridiculous. Um, he says, yeah. you want to spit some bars? Yeah, like, yeah no. Yeah, yeah, man. I, I thought it bars and he kills I, everyone in the fucking room. <laughs> I thought it sounded kind of familiar and that's yeah, that's where it came from. It's this scary movie shit. Yeah, that's that's fucked up. That's some fucked up shit. That was just wrong. Yeah, no, that that shit. I remember some of that shit and that was just fucking wrong. Like, I can't believe they fucking put that in the movie. Does he have a... Does he have a dollar? I need a dollar, 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 yeah, that's what nah. I need. I don't think he has a dial, he's just... Let's hope he has a not so... Let's hope he has not such a stressful couple days and... We'll see how... Shit goes, right? Who? Who's having a stressful day? I don't know, man. I got a streamer Me? wondering something there. He's, uh, he's wondering. He's wondering. Man, you don't worry about me, you fucking cocksucker. <laughs> uh, shit. Yeah. I'm good, homie. I'm good. If the people in the room could hear you, Granny's sitting right I just there. Got here, I just me... got a major banter level that nobody can handle. I mean, if you want, we can go. We can go, bitch. I slapped the shit out of you with my fucking dick and fucking break your jaw with it. Granny just heard you saying, if you want, we can go. We can go, bitch. <laughs> What did she do? Like sit there laughing? She was just looking like wondering what the fuck is going on. Clueless. Just in shock I guess. I don't know. She don't hand her the, the vulgar language too well. The cursing. The swearing. The violence. Is your granny the sort of granny that makes brownies and cookies for you? Nope. She doesn't do anything. She literally is just laying there waiting to die pretty much all the time. Man, I'll make you some brownies. Don't worry about it, bro. I don't eat brownies. I don't eat chocolate. I don't eat peanuts. I don't worry. They want to have sugar in them. Or chocolate. Yeah. No, they'll have shit in them for my ass. Shit some brownies. brownies. <laughs> There's an egg up here. Hmm. Let me check these fuckers. This is a male, and this is a female. Perfect. The other guy's got, I don't know what, but... We got one of each, so we're getting the eggs. I don't think so, man. I don't think so. Gay is happy, don't you guys know? Gay is happy. Look it up in the dictionary. It doesn't say anything about Man. ass rape or Fuck whatever. You. You're not fucking gay. <laughs> Holy shit. If you're happy, you're gay. I hate to say it. Because gay equals happy. And that's not a sexual preference. That's not a man on man, woman on woman. That's just the word gay. It doesn't mean, you know, anything else.
Look it up. It's a three letter word and you'll be blown away by what the fucking word means in the dictionary. You know? Nah, man, there's, I don't know, I just have a fucking, like, shit, when I start saying weird fucking shit to you, that's how you know I'm comfortable with you, man. There's no uh, fucking yeah. way to it. <laughs> yeah, I just have a, I just have a major personality no, that good. don't fucking handle. It's all good, man. Appreciate it. I know you sound a little better today man. than you did yesterday there. Yes. Dirty dish, man. That's what the good. fuck you talking about, man? Get the fucking kitchen <laughs> and wash this dish, you bitch. Oh, shit. I'm wondering, is it leather jacket day today? Fuck. Okay, are all my dinosaurs safe? Take your off while you're at it, you donut, as well. Nah, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. Bants, man, bants, bants, bants. I'm wondering, is it's, it's good here, um... What the fuck? You have a fucking tech rex? We've got two of them now. Actually, oh, no. Actually, no. Only one. This, the green one here, that one was the one that when we were going to eyeball that griffin and go get the griffin, he seen this fucking man. rolling around and said, oh, we're working at that. Fuck, the griffin can what wait. You about dirty, man? But this one. Dirty dish, I'm fucking. This I'm just British, a, I trigger you. This shit's just a costume. I had like a costume to put on the Rex. The tech. The tech racks, you can't take that shit off, right? But watch, I'll take nah, this you one can't off. Take it off. See, I, I just took that fucking off. This is our normal Rex. Just a green belly. Green belly. We want a male Rex. Didn't you say you wanted a male Rex, or did you get one? Oh, I got one already. Alright, because I was trying to find one. We need a male Rex over here for our female Rexes. As both of these are girls, they're gonna turn Lesbo on us. Jeez. You know what they say. Nah, man. When the men I'm aren't around, right the girls will play. <laughs> Scissor each other and shit. shit, man. I don't know. That's just me talking shit. I'm just talking some shit. And Shit when time. the women are away, Fizzle uh, has a personal teddy bear he likes to call Sandy oh. with a hole in her ass. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. He was telling me, right, that one time. One time he, at he band camp. Road, right, and he fucking, it came out the top of the bear's head through the, through the fabric. One time at band camp, though, right? One one time one at band time camp. At band yeah. camp. There was a snake crawling Fucking through the grass. Bullshit. I slipped, sir. I slipped. I slipped, fell, and landed on a I don't know what. My slippery feet just stepped on a banana. Damn, there's two shit balls just dropped right there. Nice, I need those. One shit, two shit. My Why hands are pretty shitty. Right lying? <laughs> Why you always lying? Come on, man, let me through. Let me through. Look at these fuckers. They just shit all day around here. That's a giant turd. I can't pick it up. Yeah, I gotta get off this game here, man. I got to go. My point. Alright, man. You, yeah, you gotta go for real, man. Go I'm trying to pick shit. up this piece of shit here, but it's not letting me. There we go. Damn, the two coyotes, the hyenas were uh, playing the ass to ass game here in the middle of the shit. Oh, we need thatch, man. Fuck. Shit goes bad too. Go figure. We need thatch. I think I might have some in there still. Welcome to the stream, viewers. Be careful, this is an 18 plus. 18 plus. 18 plus environment here. Your ears won't handle the shit we talk about. 
You be telling mommy, 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 I heard some shit. I heard some stuff. What else am I doing here? Um, what the fuck did I do here? Um, I need thatch. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm taking it out of here because I know I put some in there. There it is. All right, I'm running around to this fertilization unit. I'm going back inside. Yeah. Why is it? Why is one of your walls missing? Because I'm not done construction yet. It takes time when there's I'm only on one. On the bottom floor. On the bottom floor, one of my walls missing. Yeah. It's got a fucking hole in your wall over there, bud. Where? What side? On the north side here. By the smithy. No, there's no hole in the wall here, is there? Yeah, there's a hole in the wall. There's no hole there. This is where the smithy is, right on the other side of where I'm looking here, and that's solid, man. Oh yeah, sorry. I just wanted to see. I just wanted to see your base. Sorry. There is a hole over here, or did I fix it? No, I patched it. There was a hole right here, but I put another What's door that here. What's right there to your left? That's a garden, man. That's not finished yet. It needs uh another piece how come I can't open the fucking door that's a door oh it's not it's the window fuck okay <laughs> yeah we need fucking two pieces idiot. here I want to make a bigger garden but I didn't make much room with that giant dino wall thing so the garden I'm gonna have to put one on the maybe somewhere else here I don't know where somewhere else once this wall thing is done I've got to go out here and fix this shit. I really got to get out of here. One more imprint for my wife and it's going to be fucking fully imprinted. I need a couple of block foundations for the ground here because this floating shit allows the crawling critters. You can crawl through that sometimes. Look at that. I just crawled right through it. That's what I didn't, she said. I didn't even crawl. I crouched and went through it without crawling. Scorpions will come through that shit. All right, the doors are closed. I make sure this shit is locked up. I'm going inside to hide here. Drock spikes in front of them. Those gaps. I don't have materials to do it. I don't have the thatch. Actually, I might. I don't know. Just for now, yeah. Uh, there's wood around here somewhere. Not in there. Just saying, that's an yeah, no, that's one, two, three. All right, we once I place those. We can just the two of us, don't play. Fizzle can't fucking try without a steering This hole down here too, that's... I need to... Man, there's like... I need three more blocks on the ground here. All by this corner, because the ground... Four blocks, actually, I see another one. Fizzle? Actually, no, I don't. That wall is going to come down anyway. How would you feel, right? How would you feel if you were driving down the highway, right, and your steering wheel fell off your car? Like, how would you feel like the steering wheel came off in your hand? I'd be pretty fucking worried. I'd, Im I'd immediately jam the brakes on, and if the brakes didn't work, I'd drop it down in the fucking goddamn first or second gear and probably blow my fucking tranny out of the shit. But I would get the car to stop, and then I would, if I had a chance to drive it into something like a, I don't know, a lamp post or something like that. I've hit lamp posts, I've hit walls, I've hit trees, I've been in ditches upside down flipping fucking seven times. I've been in all kinds of car accidents, and I ain't afraid to get into another one. Damn, that's some really positive words right there. I'm a crash test dummy, man. Ready for action. Yeah, I ain't died yet from it, and it's fucking amazing. I don't know. You live and learn, right? Some shit don't kill you, makes you stronger. Fuck the bus. The bus is full of 
stinking ass motherfuckers, man. Like, you never know what kind of bed bug crawling fuck gets on the bus and drops a bunch of bullshit all over the bus. You bring that home with you. Yeah, yeah. Bed bugs. It's a fucking what epidemic. Do you mean? They're nice. They keep you warm at night. It's an epidemic. Nah, man. They there's people stinking of cologne and perfume. It's like they take a shower in this shit. I can't deal with that fucking garbage. All right, there's some upgrades for now. I need to go in here and get the fuck off of here. Too many damn doors around here. Too many damn doors around here. You guys have a good one. Yeah, I'll see you later, all. Stay away, stay away from that fucking plunger, man. Oh, yeah. The plunger is how you unclog the toilet, right? And your ass. <laughs> I don't know. You guys all take care. I gotta get out of here. God save the queen. Fuck. Alright, well, man. Have a good one. Yeah. See you later, dirty. Dirty dish. I gotta get out.